Horn at the West Fries Museum, where they're having a special exhibit right now of Sisi. With us today is Tony Yarians, who is the uh, curator of that particular exhibit. So, Tony, maybe you could tell me a little about how the exhibition came together. Uh, the exhibition came together because it's a tradition. Uh, every year we make one or two big costume uh, exhibitions. And uh, last year was Elizabeth's year in Vienna, and that's what we read about. And so we made some appointments with Vienna, with the curators of the museums in Vienna, and some of uh, their uh, um, uh, uh, costumes are here in this museum at this moment. Now, are these the, the costumes of Elizabeth that uh, she wore? No, not all of them. Most of them are uh, out of the Sissy films and worn by Romy Snyder in her, uh, when she was playing the part of Elizabeth. Now, everybody in Holland, uh, certainly all the women, uh, have seen those films. They're tragic and romantic and beautiful, and Romy Snyder plays it so well. But what about the real Elizabeth? Can you tell me a little about her history? Uh, she also had a bit of a tragic life. Uh, I won't compare her life completely with that of Romy Snyder, because I personally think that Elizabeth was a very strong uh, woman. Uh, you have to imagine she was married when she was 16, had a first child when she was 17, 18 the second, and life on uh, Vienna court was very, very difficult for her. But when she was three years further on, and they were uh, a bit talking about Franz Josef having an affair, she made, uh, at that moment, and then she was 20, completely clear to him that she wouldn't take things like that. So she would end the marriage, and she ran away. And I think when you are 20 years old, living in, 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 in a scene like Vienna, and you can do that, you must be a strong woman. Otherwise, you can't. You, you don't make a move like that. She was very beautiful to see, adored by all the people who loved her. Uh, uh, she was uh, very thin. She did lots of exercise to keep her beauty. And after two years, because she fled from Vienna in uh, 1860, she stayed away for two years. And when she came back, she, uh, she was uh, very aware of her beautiness and she uh, um, put a bit of uh, pressure on Franz Joseph with her beautiness. So I think she was a very strong woman, and she knew exactly what she wanted. Now, in her own life, there was a certain amount of tragedy, as I recall. What happened to her, actually? Uh, she lost her first child when it was two years old, during a period of very, uh, when, when uh, Franz Joseph and she were getting together again. So that was very tragic. And of course, the loss of her son, Rudolf, who played, uh, uh, who had suicide in uh, uh, the, the big drama of what we call Meierling. And that was very uh, tragic, of course. And then the, the marriage with Franz Joseph also was after five, six years finished. So she uh, um, um, was looking for an, a mistress for him, and she uh, put her friend in her place. So her friend was the mistress of Franz Joseph. So she had, uh, of course, that was tragic, but she survived by um, uh, going away, traveling a lot. She traveled through uh, all Europe. She had her own house on uh, Corfu in Greece. So I think she had a pretty good life, besides the tragedy. Now, we think of her life, really, in the terms of the film, Sisi. A lot of people sometimes compare her to our own era's Diana. Well, what do you think of that comparison? No, I don't think so. I think the time was uh, completely different. The upbringing of Diana was completely different from the upbringing of Elizabeth. Also, the morals were totally different. And, and the relationship between husband and, and wife in this century is totally different than in the time of uh, Franz Joseph and Elizabeth. So I don't think it's, you can't compare them, I think. Lots of people do think the different th thing, but I think you can't compare them.
Well, let's talk for a minute about the exhibit itself. Could you uh, describe what you have in the exhibit and how it's put together? Of course we can. Um, we have seven rooms. One room uh, shows uh, all the pictures of Franz Josef, the children, their family life on, uh, on the walls. Uh, the other rooms are um, uh, period rooms with the costumes in it. And uh, the, the exhibition is an, um, uh, part of the exhibition is from costumes from the Sissy films, and the other are original costumes worn by Franz Josef, the Empress Elizabeth, and uh, from footmen from Schönbrunn and two uh, ministers of the cabinet of Franz Josef. And the other costumes are all out of the films. When you put this exhibit together, um, was the idea, like so much of this museum, uh, to convey a period of time within the context of uh, your exhibit? Yes, that's what we always try to do. Uh, you, you did see the museum, so you saw we have lots of period rooms, and we always try to fit in the costumes in those rooms. So we are always trying to, to pick uh, a certain period what compares uh, with the rooms. Now, if the people want to uh, come and see this exhibit, um, when can they come, and what days are you open here at the museum? We are open seven days a week, Monday till Friday from 11 till 5, Saturdays and Sundays from 2 till 5, and everyone is welcome, very welcome. Okay, Tony, thank you very much for telling us about your exhibit.